So originally I was born and bred in Sandy Cove, South County Dublin, and grew up in and around Dorky, Kalini, Glenageary, Black Rock, um, and uh, spent many of my college uh, years in the Donnybrook area, so uh, fairly familiar with the, um, with the surrounding. Yes, so uh, property was something that I was always uh, interested in. I was, uh, my grandfather initially was a developer back in the day. Um, he uh, developed a couple of uh, sites out in North County, Dublin, um, so that's where I initially learned the ropes, I suppose. Um, as I grew up, my parents moved quite a bit. I got to know the selling and uh, buying property quite well through them, and then um, when uh, came to college time afterwards, it just seemed like a, a good option as well, an interest, going to something that you like doing. And that was the, uh, that was the drive for it. And I love the interaction with people. That's uh, the main draw for me, really. Um, you know, it's uh, the whole process. It's one of the largest things uh, that people will do with their lives, um, in buying and selling a home. Um, so the ability to guide them through that process and then obviously the big payoff is at the end when everybody uh, you know, happily hands over keys and receives keys, it's, um, it's quite a bit of a thrill as well. Um, the main reason vendors choose Auctioneer over the other agents uh, is, is predominantly the, the, the fixed fee that we charge. Um, it's, uh, other agents would usually charge a percentage, of up to one and a half, even sometimes north of that. Um, and that can leave a lot of ambiguity around what people will end up paying at the end of the process. So with our fixed fee it's quite transparent and that's another aspect of the process that vendors enjoy as well as purchasers. The fact that it's uh, fully transparent the whole way through and there's nothing to hide behind. Um, and we wear our hearts on our sleeves when it comes to uh, the, the reviews at the end of the process as well. Favourite part for me for the auctioneer model would be the uh, transparent nature of placing offers on the system. Um, everybody has full sight of where the offers are at any one point in time. It's all uh, interactive online through the website, the auctioneer website. Um, once someone places an offer, when we have an offer of a guide price, we get a 15-day um, deadline. Um, that way everybody knows where they stand and when a counter offer comes in they're aware of the fact that the person who's placed the counter offer has had to go through the same process as them um, and it just gives everybody full transparency. It means that at the end of the process when the timer ticks away that everybody knows that they've reached, for vendors, they've reached the top of the market um, organically and that the, we never get the phone calls of um, people saying after the fact that, you know, I didn't know that was closing out, I would have come in with a bit more, or, you know, oh God, if I, that was the price, um, I would have offered you another 5000 It just doesn't happen. We get to the, the maximum uh, point in the market at any given time. And the most sounding part of the job, traditionally, is the disappointing purchasers. Um, it's such a competitive market at the moment. You, for all our properties, we always have quite active competition um, and bidding so there's always disappointed people uh, and sometimes you come across who people who just you know really want a property they see it as their future home their family home they're highly invested in it um, and uh, they get outbid um, and you know it's always a vendor's prerogative at the end of the day to decide who they sell to and sometimes they can choose uh, an individual and, and make the dreams come true which is always a happy day for us um, but often it uh, because of the competitive nature of the market we get top offers and top prices and that's what um, vendors have to go with in order to make onward purchases and so you know it's, it's turning around to the, the underbidders and, and forming them and unfortunately they haven't been successful at this point in time but you know to keep an eye on the property market to keep an eye on our property and our stock um, and we'll help them get, uh, get them their, their dream home. Best advice I'd give potential vendors um, obviously it depends on the circumstance but the, the sort of the main advice for selling any property is present it well and um, you want to put your best foot forward um, to get uh, people in the door. Um, the two main draws, uh, the, the main uh, landing point for everybody when they're looking at property is, is online at photographs and pricing points. So you have to present the property in, in uh, a clean and presentable uh, state so as to draw the attention that way and then obviously you pitch it at the right level. Um, so as you're drawing the attention, um, everybody is a mini estate agent at the moment so they can go online and see the uh, uh, property price register prices of similar properties so you want to make sure that you're uh, targeting uh, the right contingent within the market so as to draw the attention and get them through the door um, and that will encourage uh, offers on the property and that way at the end of the process vendors will be able to choose from um, uh, hopefully a, a pot of uh, excellent purchasers. Well, what we offer to make it best in class um, is the, the full service that people have become uh, accustomed to, I suppose, in the past through the traditional agents. Um, we just offer it at a, a lower fee. 
um, we have a fixed fee that um, enables everybody at the end of the process to, to know what they're coming out with. Um, the fee includes everything, as I say, that you're used to, your professional photography, your floor plans, your for sale signs, your advertising online, um, your agent doing the viewings, negotiations back and forth, uh, you have the online portal as well, which means you can um, pretty much see everything in the agencies, which is very um, handy for, for people, especially uh, clients who happen to be abroad can see uh, exactly uh, anything in real time that we see as well. So levels of interest, offers, um, what type of offers are coming through, uh, how many viewings people have been, how many people have been, how many people are repeat attendees, um, and their continued level of interest. So it's, uh, it is, it's a unique system at uh, a fixed low fee that can't be beaten. Being an estate agent like being on Selling Sunset? Um, not quite, I mean, uh, yeah, it has its perks, absolutely. Um, but uh, it's you know you're, you're dealing with real life people, I suppose, at the end of the day. Um, and our job is to make sure that we get the vendors the best possible uh, result for them, um, and uh, getting purchasers as well. Uh, their their future homes is very important. Um, uh, but yeah, at the end of the day, it's a, it's about getting the, the best result, um, and it's not necessarily as glamour uh, filled as uh, the TV would suggest, shall we say.